Marketing Facebook Live Edition. And yes, welcome Periscope and Twitter. And in a moment, we'll be going into Instagram. How's everybody doing? This is Eddie, your Optimistic Marketer. What is going on? What is happening in your business world? So today I am going to cover on how to get those customers back. We got to get them back. We got to get them in. So don't stress out because there's a way to do it. And that's what's coming up next. All right, cool. Let me get started uh, with my comments and make sure I get that up and running. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching the recording. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Good morning. Oh, how cool is this? Oh, I got something new that's popping up in my uh, system. Nice. Let me see if I close this. Oh, awesome. Anyway, I'll tell you about that next week. <laughs> All right, today, today uh, good morning, Bridget, by the way. Uh, today, today is the day that we are going to talk about how to get those customers back. So a lot of a lot of businesses are experiencing what's happening is that they're for, for they've forgotten that the customers are out there and some of them are still panicking. So we're going to cover how to get them back, how to get more eyes on your business from those customers who need to return and those new ones that need to see you more. So in the moment here, we're going to go into Instagram and Periscope. Oh, I wasn't live on Periscope. Look, look at that. All right. So let's do this. I'm going to go Periscope first. Hey, Periscope. How's it going? This is Eddie San, your optimistic marketer. And today we're going to talk about how to get those customers back into your business using virtual marketing. That's coming up next. All right. Let's do Instagram right now. Let's see. Hey, Instagram, this is Eddie San, your optimistic marketer. And today we're going to talk about how to get those customers back into your business with virtual marketing. That's coming up next. All right. Awesome. Let's get it together. Let's get it going. Hold on. Let me kind of fix this here. That's, that's so cool. Cool stuff. I like updates on softwares, third party softwares. Awesome stuff. Okay. So what do we get? Um, for those of you who this is your first time watching this recording, thank you so much. Again, this is Eddie Sand, your optimistic marketer. And my job here for the past couple of months, going into three months now, is to bring you the essential marketing ideas and techniques to get more eyes on your business using social media strategies. And right now, my friends, we are in a marketing shift. We are, I call it a virtual marketing shift. Things are shifting right now into the virtual world. That's practically it. We are being pushed into the virtual world now. So my question to you is, is your business ready to expand into the virtual world? Because you need it. It is required now. It is a must. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Right now, there is a wave of opportunity. You know how the wave builds, right? We are possibly at the very top and the, and the wave is about to crash down and, and gone. All right. And I don't know when it will be back. Uh, I think the last type of this type of wave, not even compared to right now, but the closest was 2008. All right. That was a wave of opportunity. Of course, that does not compare back then to what we're going on, right? What we're going through right now. But I need you to understand that with every big challenge, as we are all experiencing, there is a big opportunity. And right now, this uh, yesterday, just yesterday, I read an article that 50% uh, since January 2020, 50% increase on live streaming. Hear me out. 50% increase of live streaming. Companies are figuring this out already. They are going live. Live is the key right now. You've got to do it. Get on it. Be consistent. And, and he, you know, this is how you win this game, by the way. And, and the game to win here, the ultimate outcome, when the dust settle or when the wave, the waves crash and just everything, the water settles, is going to be, are you, and it's your company, it's your services, are your products, are you going to be the go-to person? When people think of your services, products, and whatever it is that you offer, are you going to be it? Are you going to be the go-to person in your industry? Are you going to be the business in your industry that people are going to say, man, you know what? Let me go over here. 
That's what I'm talking about. That's the winning line. All right, that, that, as a matter of fact, at that point, your business will start to grow more. Through the end of the year, I'm telling you, you need to be prepared. Preparation right now is key. You need to have a virtual marketing strategy all the way through the end of the year because right now there are so many uncertainties and you need to have an exit strategy, a marketing strategy to go online. All right, enough of that. So that's what I do. I'm here committed. Uh, I come to you live here every single week, every day, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 a.m. Pacific, again, to share with you all of my experiences and current things that are happening right now in the world of marketing. Marketing, marketing, marketing. Marketing is key, by the way. Do not ever think that marketing stops. It always goes, right? Without marketing, you cannot grow your business. So always remember, you need to have a marketing department, a marketing budget. It needs to be part of your business. That does not ever, ever, ever stop. I don't know. That was a message for someone there. So I don't know for who, but there you go. There's your message. All right. So how do we get customers back? <clears throat> Listen, creativity is required to get the most out of social media advertising, out of digital advertising. Um, you need to be creative. Right, that's just the point is that if you're not getting the results you want, it's because your creativity team it's not cracking the code for you, okay? You need to be creative. So that means that you need to either think of ways to attract customers, new ways, or improve the ways that you have. Um, this past week, I, I, I saw something on, on a magazine that is a print advertising magazine, you know, like those money magazine or whatever they call them. And I've started to see uh, call to actions for businesses, can I tell you that they're still the same ads? Like, okay, sure, I can go buy pizza, but what what makes me feel now good and and uh, um, good and and cozy about buying from you now? Like, why 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 don't you understand, guys, that creativity is so important in your advertising? So I'm gonna give you some ideas right now to get these people back into your business. All right, so here's how I, 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 I got this uh, episode for you to remember by. Go live, give content, and get results. Go live, give content, and results. Go give, get. Go give, get. That's the process that you need to have with your advertising, your marketing campaigns right now. Go give, get. Got it? <laughs> got it? Go give, get, got it? The four G's of success in marketing. <laughs> anyway, so you, you need to go live, all right? Um, remember, I, I think I told you this, guys, last week that uh, I, I got an email that basically uh, a couple of weeks ago or so um, that the business was closing down or had closed down a fitness uh, training facility here nearby me. And it's so sad. I'm like, oh my goodness, they closed down now. That was the closest one to me. So they closed down. And I can tell you why. Because not only they were having marketing problems even before I got to them, but by the time I got to them, it was too late because they already not only were practically in trouble, but this COVID thing showed up. And before you know it, it just went down and now they're closed. However, this week I got an email saying, hey, We've opened up a new facility. What did they do? It's the same facility with a different name and a different approach. Wow, hello, rebranding. I've been talking to you about that for a while now. Rebranding. And so I saw their website, I went on and, and I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, they don't know this yet, but I will go show up and see what it is that I can help them with because what were they missing right now is live streaming. That's what they're missing. So I, I don't know yet if they have that in their plans, but that is one thing they're going to have to do if they're going to compete in this industry right now and with their competitors around them as well. Uh, the coffee shop I told you about. This coffee shop, man, uh, it, it's so sad because Starbucks is practically moving next to them now. And you know how Starbucks goes. I mean, it's, it's a fast drive-through kind of place. 
So this coffee shop needs to be creative and go live showing people why is it so cozy and nice and good that makes me want to go and be part of their facility. Okay. So going live right now, you can be so creative. You can show behind the scenes about your company. You can show, take people on a journey. I've talked about that many times. Take people, on, uh, show people your expertise, but you can show people around. You can, you can basically be so creative to go live, but be yourself, be true to your business and connect your face, your, your personal touch to your business. Okay. So do that. And I'll tell you, that's the first step. The second one is give content. So no matter what you do, the way you go in to attract your customers back is by providing content. That's the way to do it. It's, it's yes, you've seen the ads that they say, you know, one week pass or 50% off or buy this and get that. Okay, sure. Things have changed. Things are not going to be the same. We, I don't even know how long we're going to live like this, but they're not, even if we go back, even if COVID was not, was not present anymore, disappeared, even if the political world is ex excellent now, perfect, everybody's happy in the world, everybody loves each other. If every situation that we're going through disappears after what we've gone through, is going to take time to even remotely get close to what we had before all this st stuff uh, started. So you need again to be not only creative, take action, go live, and the content that you need to provide needs to be specifically for your market so that they can still, they can, uh, you basically are building the relationship again. All right. This is your girlfriend, your boyfriend, you broke up, you guys broke up. <laughs> That's what it is. And if you're going to bring her back or bring him back, you're going to have to put the effort of trusting in building that relationship again. Okay. It just takes time, but content will do that. Good content. So I'll give you some examples. If you're selling pizzas, you need to actually go ahead and say, uh, show live videos of, of how special the sauce is how special the pepperoni is because you cut it every morning, uh, how special the cheese that, that is natural and you're tasting it and you're, you know, you're just dropping it there. Right. And, and, and then you put that pie inside. And then when you open it, you, this is live video. You open it in the bubbling of the cheese come out and the smell of that pizza, fresh pizza and the crust, nice and crust, um, uh, toasty crust comes out and then you take a slice and you cut it and then you grab the slice and as you're putting it in your mouth you say come join me get a free slice on me S bite bam right you give them all this content through your live video what's the content for that pizza place it's the ingredients uh, they're going to see how clean you keep your place. They're going to see how awesome your oven is. They're going to see yourself that you're nice and clean. Your place looks clean because you know, everything in the background you'll be showing, right? As you're going and walking through from place, uh, from the oven to the place where you make the pizza, all that good stuff. And then you can just say, come and join me for a, a slice. Bam. <laughs> hey, Hey, if you're watching me, if you're a pizza place, let me know how that works for you. Cause that's a, that's an idea right there. Or, how about this? How about you have a, um, oh, let me close this up. Okay. So how about this? How about you have a, 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 a product that you don't require a physical location? So let's say you have a system, a program, a product, a digital something, whatever, maybe a product that you can deliver. So what if you have that? Well, what about you taking people through the process? Um, an example, it could be, let's say, let's say, uh, you know what? I'm thinking of those, um, uh, tests, uh, packets like, uh, for the face or maybe for shampoos or for colognes or whatever. How about you give like a little packet of startup packet, but the way you do it is you go live and you talk about the, each product that's in the little box or the little container, what it does, you show it, you put it on or you use it. And then all of a sudden you take the time and say, Hey, you know, here it is. This could be for you. Just go ahead and 
you know, uh, uh, click here and get it. Just uh, pay shipping. I don't know, something like that. So you take them through the process. You give them the story. You show them why it works, the benefits of it. And as you're packing it up, you're basically saying, hey, this is for you. Go ahead and click now and pay just shipping. How about that? If you have a digital information, the same exact way, you know, go ahead and give them your expertise, show them the benefits, why it is that it works for you and works for everybody else that you're helping. And then take them through the process and say, Hey, by the way, go, why don't you go ahead and uh, 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 download it here? Right? So listen, creativity is there's no stop to your creativity. There's no ceiling really. You can get so creative with this, but the main idea that I need you to get here is, you need to go live and you need to give content. Don't go live and say, hey, we're back. We're open. Come join us. 50% off. We'll see you soon. Don't forget to tell your friends. Uh, no, don't do that. If you want to succeed in this thing, listen to what I'm telling you. Do this content. Make it creative, make it fun, make it personal. All right. And the last thing is that's how you're going to get results. What type of results are you looking for? All right. So if you're a local business, you obviously need more foot traffic. So that's your results. Invite people over. I just gave you the example about the pizza. So you guys can create from that whatever business you're on or you're in, you're on, you're in, whatever, <laughs> you know, whatever you have, um, go ahead and, uh, and, and come up with an idea like that. Okay. Look, I just noticed my coffee and I don't have my coffee mug. So I'm just going to drink out of it because I haven't even taken a sip of my coffee. You know how important my coffee is before the show? Super important. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. As you can tell, my energy increases because I haven't had the energy right now to talk to you. So that's why I need more coffee. <laughs> hey, listen, I work. This is me and this is how I work. I love my wife. She puts up with me. Uh, and that's why I think she takes a lot of naps <laughs> because I'm like Rah! <laughs> all over the place. Right. All right. Let me take another sip. This is good. Mm. Ah, delicious. All right. So where was I? Yeah. So take the information that I've given you, be creative with your own, for your own business, what works for you, but understand that the principle is to go live give content and get results. And what's the results? Again, it could be foot traffic. It could be download something. It could be, um, uh, go to my next event or go to our work virtual workshops, by the way, which by the way, I'm having one this Sunday. Cause I decided it's like, uh, I so much appreciate every one of you who's watching, who is watching the recording, who's here live. I so much appreciate you because, because you, have contacted me, have left the comments, have asked me the questions, and it excites me because I, I'm able to give you more. But it's coming down to the place, like as a matter of fact, I already had two meetings before this, <laughs> before this video, and it's coming to the point where I can't get enough time to reach every single one to, because I really wanna help. I wanna make sure that you're set up for this. So I decided to do a virtual workshop. Uh, in a virtual webinar. Okay. So it's going to be a live. I'm not going to give you the information. Just ask me later if you're interested, but, um, virtual webinars, virtual workshops are working. I've got one of my clients right now who did one yesterday in his first one, but this is the beginning of many. He used to actually go the doctor. He used to actually go and do workshops at locations. Now he's going to have people go virtual and, and that's a, a great way to give to the community, to show them that you literally care and that you are passionate about your product, your services, your company, your business. All right. So there's so much that you can do to get the results and the results again, that you're looking for is based on what you want. Don't jump on selling a bunch of stuff first, give the content, show them, give it to them, All right? Have fun through the process. The results come from doing this. All right. Awesome. So cool stuff. This is a virtual uh, marketing shift guys. It's a marketing shift happening in this world. And I want to tell you that I'm still committed to be here with you live every single day, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern standard time, 7 a.m. Pacific to bring you the marketing ideas and essential techniques that require you to actually get results and get more eyes 
on your business and you can ride this wave of opportunity, this virtual marketing wave of opportunity so that at the end, after all this goes through, you will be the go-to person, the go-to business in your industry. That is how you do it. Um, I'll leave you with this. This is something that I just learned. Actually, I learned it last week and I totally forgot to show it to you guys. And today I remember. So uh, if you're not on Facebook Live, then you need to go find me there to be part of when I share my screen. Uh, so you can find me at Optimistic Marketer or Eddie Sand. You'll find me there. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you go facebook.com forward slash Optimistic Marketer, it'll take you immediately to my Facebook page and you can watch the uh, behind the scenes that I do all the time. So, hey, guys, I want to leave you with this. Let me show you something here <clears throat> that... Um, I noticed the updates that uh, Facebook was promising us a while ago, and they're actually coming through. And doing events was one of their promise. They basically mentioned that you can actually create an event and start charging people and also have like uh, webinars and, some, and workshops and all that stuff. <clears throat> so I, didn't re um, I noticed something that they've uh, improved. So let me create an event here. And by the way, talk, remember I talked about virtual uh, uh, webinars and things like that? This is a great place to also start doing them. Um, I haven't tested yet their capabilities, capabilities of having multiple people at once with their rooms yet, their chat rooms, but I will be testing that soon. So um, you create your, your whatever workshop you want, but check this out, okay? Notice this right here, this online event before, when I used to click it, it was just a check mark and it'll just say online event, that's it. Now they, they've improved it by when I click it, now it's requiring you to enter the website. How cool is that? You know, it is something that I never thought about having, but now that I have it, possibilities are better. So here is your opportunity. This is your opportunity where I'm telling you about virtual workshops. What do you think you're going to put here? You're going to put your Zoom meeting or whatever other uh, software platform you're using for your virtual workshops. And that's where you put it. Um, how about this? How about this is an idea right here. How about you do a video? Let's say and you have a video program that you want to show people, but you want, the, you want them to come to your website. What about putting, creating a specific page for that YouTube video program that you have for them to learn more about whatever it is that you're teaching or, or taking them through the journey, whatever you choose, and putting that YouTube video on your page and then linking your page here to that video. And then if you want to be more creative, you can have a call to action after 30, 40 minutes or whatever many minutes you want out of that video that you have for them. And then it'll pop up and then, you know, give them something more of value, not ask them for money, just more valuable information. But anyway, point is, there it is. It's so cool. Uh, look, it says here, include clear instructions in your event details on how to participate. That is so neat. Anyway, point is that you can use that. Uh, take advantage of it, guys. Take advantage of it. It's there. It's, it's there now. Uh, before, like I said, it wasn't there. Use it. Be creative with it. And you'll see. Things are going to get better and better here. And uh, can I tell you this? Maybe next week I'll jump into this about this uh, the messenger chat rooms that they're creating uh, and, and, and everything that's happening. I mean, man, you can even charge now. You can charge for your events through Facebook. How cool is that? Opportunities are everywhere. You just need to understand the basic fundamental, the principle of how to get this done. Use technology and it'll work for you. All right, guys. Thank you so much again for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching the recording again. Eddie San, your optimistic marketer. I will see you here tomorrow. Stay cool, stay calm, and keep a sound mind. Peace.